Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial from Era Effects So in this video we'll be learning to make these RGB trails to our text animation in a very simple way So I'll first create a new composition I'll name this RGB 1920 by 1080 resolution is fine with a duration of 3 seconds and I'll hit okay So let me first create a text layer. To do that, I'll click on this T button here, so that I'll enable the type tool and I'll type in some random text. Type in Era Effects Studio, and now we'll be animating this text layer. You can use an image or text or any kind of object. I'm just giving you for reference. I'll click on this timer button here for position. Make sure you're at the first frame. I'll move a couple of seconds forward and animate it something like this. All right. So if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the animation is happening. I'll select all these keyframes and right-click one of them, and from Keyframe Assistant, I'll Easy Ease. To add the RGB trails, this is what you'll have to do. I'll select the layer. and i'll hold control on my keyboard and hit d on the keyboard so that it gets duplicated and i'll select the bottom most layer and change the color to red i'll duplicate this red one once again and i'll change the color to blue this can be any color it all depends on your requirement i'll duplicate this once again and change the color to green okay and now i'll move each one of the layers that is below the first layer to around 2 frames forward and 4 frames forward and the last one to 6 frames forward so if i start playing the video you can see that this is how you'll have some sort of rgb trails and in order to make this much more effective you can turn on the motion blur for the red green and blue layers so i'll enable for all these three layers and i'll also enable it for the composition so if i start playing the video you can see that you'll have this sort of rgb trails and that is what we need adobe after effects is all about creativity so you can use the same thing for different sort of text animations or some logo reveals and i hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me you can always reach out to me on instagram at vfxkairavi see you guys next time with another tutorial